Raquel Welch, a major sex icon of 1960s movies, has passed away at the age of 82. Joe Raquel Tejada was born in Chicago to a grumpy Bolivian aeronautics engineer father and a Mayflower descendant mother. Although winning multiple beauty pageants as a child, she never felt content with her appearance. In 1963, she ran away from her first husband and traveled to Los Angeles with her two young children, both of whom were still in diapers. She almost became Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island and a Bond girl in Thunderball, but instead, she landed small roles on Bewitched and McChale's Navy before breaking out in the Oscar-winning science fiction Smash Fantastic Voyage in 1966. That led to her starring part in 1966 One Million Years BC, in which she wore a bikini made of deerskin and other animal skins. In her autobiography, Raquel, Beyond the Cleavage, she admitted, I had no further credentials as an actress outside of that one ludicrous bit of dialogue. Me Loma, as in, you Tumac, as if I'd walked right into a booby trap, but because of the film's poster, she became a cultural icon, a living tribute to the power of women, according to the New York Times. Being famous overnight had its benefits and drawbacks. She once told Larry King that she was the Rodney Dangerfield of sex symbols, and that she avoided walking down the street or going too many places. I used to be a really agoraphobic person, she said, I didn't know how to handle so much attention for what I thought was, like an illegitimate cause to have so much attention and celebrity and money and everything. Everyone wanted you to get naked. She passed up Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore and the role that earned Valerie Perrine an Oscar nomination for Lenny, but ultimately accomplished something that was worthy of her aspirations. Despite the fact that her picture Myra Breckenridge from 1970 was a flop, she was quite pleased with the strong female protagonist who served as the antithesis of a sex symbol in the film. In the film Kansas City Bomber, 1972, she played the role of Jodie Foster's single mother. In the film The Three Musketeers, 1973, she co-starred with Faye Dunaway and Harvey Keitel, 1976. She was well-liked for her roles on the PBS series American Family in 2002, as well as the Broadway productions of Victoria and Woman of the Year, as well as her guest spots on Saturday Night Live, Seinfeld, and her small appearance in the film Legally Blonde. Lorraine Newman tweeted, When Raquel Welch hosted SNL, I appeared in a segment with her as Lena Wertmuller. She decided to sing instead, so it was scrapped, but a few years later she sent me a postcard from Italy bearing Wertmuller's signature, My condolences to your family and friends. Films like Bandolero, a western, were some of her favorites. I think the reason my image made such an impression is that I was an early female action heroine, she said, 1968, to Turner classic movies, like a woman version of Clint Eastwood, minus the cigar and six gun. And in the end, she was content with her physical appearance. As life goes on, you get more valued as a person, she stated back in 2010, I'd seen prettier women. Personally, I believe that my appearance has improved with age and experience. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates.